everybody. My name is Summer Sanders. I'm a sophomore at Abraham Baldwin Agricultural College. I'm currently studying to earn my degree in business. Today I want to talk to you about pet peeves. Have you ever been sitting in a quiet waiting room and found yourself annoyed because the person sitting next to you was obnoxiously smacking their gum? What about those people who scuff their feet as they're walking down a quiet hallway? Does this annoy you? If the answer is yes, it's probably safe to say that this is one of your pet peeves. A pet peeve is an action or behavior that an individual finds to be annoying or irritating. I have many pet peeves. However, my biggest pet peeve is when someone says no offense before saying something that's clearly going to be offensive. I remember many times that one of my friends or family members used to call and saying no offense on me just before crushing my feelings or hopes. After years of working on my degree in nursing, I decided to switch to a business major. The first word to come out my friend's mouth was, no offense, but I just don't think you're made out for the business life. Can you imagine my old friend would say this to me? It's almost as if people think that saying no offense is going to lighten the degree of rudeness of what they're about to say. I'm here to tell you that it doesn't. I'll talk about another example that I'm sure we all can relate to. Imagine buying a new outfit that you think looks amazing on you. However, your friend says, no offense, but that outfit just isn't your color. Individuals don't seem to understand that when they say no offense, the message is still offending and hurtful. To conclude, I just want the people who throw around the phrase no offense to think about the message they're sending. Saying no offense doesn't lighten the situation or reserve any amount of hurt. A personal suggestion would be, just say what you mean, or think of a pleasant way to say it before saying it. Just don't include the irrelevant phrase, no offense. Thank you.